Almost three years ago, before Russia invaded Ukraine, I sat down to write a story inspired by my family heritage. I grew up with my grandma, Natasha, who is Ukrainian. She left in 1928 by herself, leaving behind most of her family. And just four years later, Stalin orchestrated a famine known in Ukrainian as the Holodomor that killed over four million Ukrainians. I wanted to tell the story of a Ukrainian family like my grandmother's that was caught up in this tragedy. My story, however, starts at a different time. It's the beginning of the pandemic and 13-year-old Matthew is stuck at home in New Jersey, anxious and bored. His mother moves in his great-grandmother, Gigi, and Matthew discovers she's been keeping a painful lifelong secret. Just like my Edgar Award-winning book, The Night Tourist, The Lost Year is a mystery. Matthew must piece together bit by bit Gigi's story when she was his age, as well as that of her two cousins. It's a tale that takes you to Soviet Ukraine and to Brooklyn in 1933. So why is this book so perfect for the school and library community? Well, first of all, it introduces kids to Ukrainian history and helps them connect the past with present and current events in Ukraine. Secondly, it also is a lesson in media literacy. I picked this powerful period of disinformation to help teach kids about our own era of disinformation. Thirdly, it's also a writing lesson. As someone who has been to many classrooms, I snuck in a whole bunch of tips about writing, journalism, and the importance of oral history. And finally, it's also a book that grapples with the pandemic and those anxieties. And in doing so, it helps kids move from loss and grief to resilience and shows the power of stories to help make that happen.